I've gained, I've gained maybe around, on a raw vegan diet, I've gained around four to three to, three to five kilograms so far um, this year on a raw vegan diet. And I also went through a two month and three quarters detox since I gave up both cooked food and chocolate. So chocolate is a stimulant and a bit of a poison really like caffeine. It is caffeinated and it has the bromine. I'm not I'm not bashing caffeine or coffee or any stimulants, but I'm just saying they do have an effect. I'm just being practical and realistic. Um, so it would wear on your adrenals and your jig and sap your energy. And my energy is definitely higher I haven't given up chocolate. I've gone back a little bit but then I'll give it up again and I see how it affects me negatively. Um, between more calories, bananas, dates, avocados and amino acids that vegan treat me. Yeah, and I've also gained weight because I've been very physically active as a parent and I've been carrying my toddler a lot and she's 14 kilograms so a little a sweetheart, one of the loves of my life and yes, do weights. Do walk up the mountains sometimes here and there, a little bit, have spare time, maybe once a week, possibly. Yeah, because I'm a parent, too, I'm active, that's why. So. And for the last like 15 to 20, for the last like 20 years, I've been the same weight all the time, like I haven't gained anything. I couldn't, like, it doesn't matter if I stuffed my face with like cooked food and carbs and calories. And <laughs> it's all about efficiency and giving yourself the right components like raw food is the best nutrition as well as like working out and I think the vegan creatine helped me to be honest as well and just having more smoothies with like let's say flax chia or hemp sometimes um, but these days I've, I've put back on the concentrated fats huge gigantically and I, I feel even better on that and yeah when my cleanse finished I feel fantastic better and got rid of a lot of toxins and waste there so I'm a happy man you know I can't complain I count my blessings and I surrender to the things out of my control will take action where I can for the things that can be in my control but we have to have patience too because not everything's meant to be delivered to us in life all in one go with what we want that's why we have a life that's why we have time and age it's, there's progression there's learning there's lessons and we receive these nice and sweet things in divine timing come and go in divine timing. It used, it used to bother me that people would be commenting on my weight. They didn't know my past history. I had like, severe physical trauma when I was 20. It changed my life forever. Put me on the divine spiritual path, spiritual path of self-healing and awareness and a different diet. I used to eat like meat twice a day up to the age of like two, uh, 24 when I discovered vegetarianism and veganism and raw food and spirituality all in the same year of 24. And I was always, slim. even in school, people would comment or make fun of me sometimes. And my granddad was really slim. And they, 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 they didn't eat my diet. They ate stuff. You know, they, they didn't eat veganism. They didn't even hear of veganism. They were still really slim, so it's a little bit silly and immature and ignorant when people are like judging and commenting on you because you're slim and they, they, one, they don't know your constitution, your history and your family, your lineage, your parents or grandparents and two, they don't know your past history in this life. If you had like a serious health issue, that impairs your body and takes more time to heal. So, and I, it's just a bit silly and immature and naive to go around judging others. And, it goes in all ways, like me too, if I'm going around judging someone for being angry, like then I'm typically going to be immature, naive and ignorant because beyond ju before judgment, you want to, better than judging is understanding, you want to understand, it's the most important thing to do, getting out of your perception and getting into a bigger perspective of the full story, the big picture and walking in another person's shoes as best you can. And that will heal you and it will help heal your relationships and your life to be improved. It won't heal you, but it will definitely improve you if you can develop this skill. So yeah, that's all I want to say about this topic. Hope you enjoy it. Blessings to you. No hard feelings to the people who use me. A little bit unfriendly or slightly nasty comments sometimes. 